Welcome to our online. Now let's take a look at our petroleum products and in terms of how many carbon atoms they contain and at what point they begin to boil. Now of course natural gas will be in a gas, in a gas, uh, gas form at very low temperature so definitely it's boiling well below zero degrees Celsius. But petroleum ether, ether, which is kind of between LPG gas and gasoline, or the upper range of the gasoline part, notice that that will boil at somewhere between 35 and 100 degrees Celsius, depending upon how many carbon atoms it has. So for five carbon chains, pentane, you'll see that petroleum will begin to boil at 35 degrees Celsius, which isn't that high. That's 35 degrees Celsius, maybe about 90 or so degrees Fahrenheit and or 90, 95, something in that range. And so therefore, at very high temperatures, some of the compounds of gasoline will begin to boil. Notice gasoline also starts at 35, but goes up to a higher range, of course, because gasoline has some of the larger carbon molecules as well. Now, 35 degrees, let's say that you're in the desert and it's 105 degrees and you begin to uh, fuel your car. Well, typically the fuel is kept on the ground, so it's typically cooler than it would be in the air, but notice that you'll get quite a bit of gaseous fumes when you start um, tanking up your car when it's very hot and the, and the temperature of that gasoline gets to be much higher, it'll begin to cause some vaporization. Um, kerosene also at starts to uh, boil at 35 to 300 again because kerosene is at a higher range. And notice, you say, well, if it's from 12 to 15, how can kerosene begin to boil at 35 degrees? Well, because it sometimes contains some of these smaller molecules in there as well. There's usually a very wide range of molecules where the vast majority are in this range, but there'll be a few that are still in the smaller molecule range, and so it will begin to boil and give off fumes at these low temperatures. Notice kerosene will freeze at minus 76 Fahrenheit, which is about minus 60 uh, degrees Celsius, and that's one of the reasons why you can't fly to the, to the Antarctic in the wintertime, because if you fly an airplane to the Antarctic in the wintertime where temperatures can be well below that, well, the problem is that your fuel will begin to freeze and your plane can't take off again. So that's why they tend not to fly there in the wintertime, of course. There's other reasons. When is that cold? All kinds of other mechanical things will begin to fail because of the really, really cold temperatures. Notice diesel fuel will not vaporize will not begin to boil until the temperature reaches from 300 to 400, so it's very hard to get diesel fuel to vaporize. Motor oil and grease from 350 to 400 degrees, and then paraffin and asphalt, well, they're essentially solid, and so we can talk about melting temperatures, about 55 degrees Celsius for paraffin, and for asphalt, well, it's a residue, it's very sticky and heavy, and so there's no problem uh, having that boil or having that vaporize in any way. So that gives you kind of an idea of the range of temperatures required to start boiling these particular um, products. Uh, notice 35, it's typically it, the temperature goes up higher and higher as you get larger and larger molecules. The reason why they mentioned 35 is because those also contain some of the smaller molecules as well. And to get you an idea about gasoline on the next video, we'll give you kind of a uh, layout as to what type of molecules are in there and what the burn rate and, and so forth is of gasoline. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to figure that out as well.